Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The long range subsonic cruise missiles are going to be an important component of India's upcoming rocket force. The subsonic cruise missiles development is very challenging. It's not as simple as launching a missile from point A to point B. It involves technologies such as redundancies which guarantees its survival and potency in any condition and long range waypoint navigation over 1000 kilometers nirbhay is india's first subsonic cruise missile which is intelligently developed and can be launched from multiple platforms it can fly at low altitudes and carry conventional and strategic warheads to attack fixed or mobile land targets technologies like thrust vector control to turn the missile into and on to the target plane in flight wing deployment and in flight engine start has been proven in the cruise phase technologies like low altitude flight which is like 100 meters to 20 meters and very low altitude which is around 20 meters to 5 meters flight over sea using radar altimeter in the loop and long range waypoint navigation to cover more than 1000 km using INS system and position update has also been proven the Nirul missile has overall length of 7.6 meters, diameter of 520 mm, and all-up weight of 1,450 kg. It has a range of 1,000 km, endurance of 30 minutes, speed of 0.7 Mach, and cruise altitude of 100 meters. It uses INS GPS for navigation and RF, EO, or IR seeker for terminal homing. It's a vertical launch missile with thrust vector control booster. It is powered by Russian NPU Saturn 36MT engine. The Nirbha missile program has been successful. It has completed eight successful flight trials. After mastering various technologies related to a subsonic cruise missile, DRDU has initiated indigenous technology cruise missile ITCM TD program for the 100% indigenization of long range subsonic cruise missile. Now the most important component of the missile is indigenously developed STFE Manik engine. Manik is an expandable STFE that is small turbofan engine with 450 kgf thrust for powering subsonic drones. To begin with, the engine will power the ITCM. The DRDO's Director General of Aeronautical System, MZ Siddiqui has said that during the trial of ITCM in 2021, the indigenous STFE engine was used to power the ITC missile and the missile was cruising at an altitude of 3 km at a speed of up to 0.7 Mach. He affirmed that DIDO is at the cusp of delivering the product with respect to propulsion. In November 2023, DIDO's GTRE has issued an expression of interest for selection of Indian industry partners for the mass production of STFE engine. The estimated production quantity is approximately 300 units over a duration of 5 years. The expression of interest clearly hints that DID is either very close or has already completed the development of STFE engine. Another report by ANI states that all three defense forces of India are going to have long-range crew missile of Nirbhaya class in their arsenal. The proposal for induction is under consideration with Ministry of Defense and is at the advanced stage. The Nirbhaya missile or the class of Nirbhaya missile which will be inducted by armed forces is being called as LRLACM or long-range land attack crew missile. On 1st August 2023, the Ministry of Defense has released its Make One project list in which LRLSEM for Indian Air Force is included. So the Indian Air Force is moving ahead with a case for indigenous design, development and manufacturing of LRLSEM through private production industries. The long-range crew missile based on ITCM will be developed to be launched from land, air and water. It will have similar dimension than Nirbhaya but will have improved navigation capability in addition to the upgraded seeker and indigenous STFE engine. The missile is expected to have a range of 1500 kilometers and can be launched from Brahmos 
universal vertical launch module which is installed in all frontline warships of Indian Navy. The Indian Air Force will be able to launch this missile from Su-30 MKI which will give it huge standoff capability and destroy strategic targets deep inside the enemy's territory. The underwing pylons of Su-30 MKI which is used for launching BrahMos A can be used to launch the air variant of LR LACM. A truck mounted version of Army and a submarine version for Navy is also planned. DRDO has planned testing of LR LSC missile around mid of 2024. The adduction of missile is expected to be around 2027 28. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.